All right, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a tricky group of eight questions. And uh, I guess I kind of hinted it in the uh, overall video, but maybe you didn't watch that. So I'm going to give you some more hints. As soon as you have a right triangle, which is a known fact when they tell you something is a tangent line, there are a number of relationships that come into play. I'm going to list them off here. Uh, you have the Pythagorean theorem. You have your special right triangles, which is the 45, 45, 90, or the 30, 60, 90. You have uh, trigonometry in here, um, which means you might need to use um, uh, sine, so cosine, ka, or uh, tangent, which is toa. Um, and then uh, there might be uh, a geometric mean, depending if you've covered that or not, but geometric means uh, that relationship show up uh, with right uh, triangles as well. So what I'm trying to say to you is that these four guys are always in the game when you have a right triangle. And because this is a tangent line, um, you are in the game because we learned that if it's a tangent, that that angle becomes a, a right angle. So while it's not shown there, it's a known fact that each of these is a right angle. Not because I'm guessing it, but because you were informed that AB is a tangent line to uh, the given circle. Circle C. Now the things, I'm, I'm not going to give it away, but I'm going to give you some little bit of hints here as to uh, how do you know uh, which of these to use. There are clues here. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, let me, let me do a clue here. Um, how about, uh, let me highlight, sorry, let me highlight this, 45. Now, that's a pretty good clue. Um, here's another clue, 55. Now, you'll notice that that angle is not one of the special ones. So that might be this world here. Now the other two that I'm looking at have no angles. And so because they have no angles, you're probably, and again, uh, looking at uh, this guy, probably is what you're looking at, or um, the geometric mean, but it has kind of a special look to it. So you're probably looking, looking at that guy. See how I'm kind of isolating it based on the clues I have. Let me look at the other four to give you a little bit of heads up there, too. So here's another group of the bottom four. Um, I'll do the same kind of thing here. I notice uh, a 30 degree here, and that, of course, shows up here. Uh, the other three have no angles um, given to you, so you are probably, again, the Pythagorean theorem works in, in the world where uh, angles aren't involved, so that's why uh, it's probably not a special right and probably not the trig. So they're probably the Pythagorean theorem. Um, just because this one's a little bit trickier than others, and some teachers will have you skip G, I'll just say G is the geometric mean. Now, if you've covered it, uh, you'll be able to kind of work that out, I think. If you haven't, you might have to do a quick Google on the, the geometric means found in that. And the reason I know it's the geometric mean is the geometric mean has this very special look to it where the altitude of that right triangle has been drawn. Plenty of help there, though, to get most of those started. Good luck.